What's up, everybody? Um, is this kind of more of a test, kind of? This is more of a test kind of stream, but so yeah, I just wanted to test it. So just wanted to test it, really. But yeah, so um, right now we're just going to react to some beer thaler, beer thaler studios videos probably. That's what we're going to do, so. We're gonna react to some of those. So, without further ado, Hello everybody, this is Eric Beerthaler of Beerthaler Studios here once again. So, the teaser trailer was released for Winnie the Pooh, Mud and Honey 2. I mentioned this in my live stream last night. So, but those who don't want to watch an hour and a half live stream just for my thoughts on the trailer, this video is for you, for the more condensed version. So, this definitely has a much bigger budget, and it clearly shows in the trailer. This yeah. does look better than the original, and I'm not saying I the movie's agree better it just better, because it has a bigger budget. I'm just Granted, you could do more like things with a bigger budget. Worry some about it, you know. It's also but I know about Eric's already seen it. knowing how to work with the budget that you have. I mean, my first movie cost only $40. My second movie cost three hundred dollars. Now my current movie already has to pass a budget of three thousand dollars, and most of that went to the equipment. But uh, hang on one sec. So, none of the original oh actors come back. Nobody comes back. The only one coming back is Andrew Scott Bell. Bell of all. Yeah. I would agree with that. Uh, obviously, I'm not in a position right now to check if it's, if it's either of these. If his last name is Scott Ball or Bell. But yeah, he's coming back to compose the score. But yeah, none of the actors or actresses come back. But Reese Ray Waterfield's coming back to direct it. Scott Chambers is coming back to produce. And he's taking over the role of Christopher Robin from Nikolai Luna. Interesting. And uh, 
I think they are the only ones coming back from the original movie. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the trailer looks promising. Okay. Definitely looks better than the original. Uh, it's very clever how Pooh's signature weapon is the bear trap. That's cool. Uh, the gore effects look look better, like that part where Pooh decapitates that girl with the bear trap. We got a good look at Tigger. Uh, I love that that shot that pans back of Tigger just standing there. But yeah, um, I think there's a lot of potential with the sequel. Is it going to be the best movie of the year? I don't think so, but will it be better than, than the original? Like, I've been redundant about it. Probably. Probably. Uh, Reese Drake Waterfield is not writing the script. That could probably help it. And... Yeah. We have... Travis. What's up, Travis? Oh, nothing much. Uh, just checking up on the Eric, uh, some of Eric's videos here. Yeah. It's more so testing his um, stream stuff. Ah, oh, I see. Um, I'll check it out. I definitely will check it out. I will never forget when I saw the original. If Eric theaters, releases, um, because of the end credits were rolling. The there was this girl who was storming yep. out of the theater. Uh, uh she said it in such an angry way. Yeah. That was such a waste okay. of time. Definitely. Like, she was angry. Somebody was a fan of the movie. <laughs> They're probably going to go buy it on DVD. <laughs> but yeah. It's interesting how Piglet's coming back, because Piglet clearly died at, at the end of the first movie. Spoilers for the yeah. first movie. But he just has, sti has stitches on his arm. So okay, um, Piglet probably has brain damage. Kind of... <clears throat> I definitely see, like, like the what they do with look Tigger of and, and all the other characters. Owl. Yeah. Well, when I saw like Owl, Pooh I was like, what the oh, yeah. fuck, man? I like yeah. the new look of Pooh like, and Piglet the in fuck? the new movie. Definitely looks yeah. way, way like better than the original. They must mostly kind of give the Easter There was that part in the trailer of this one where Pooh kind of came out from the original. It looks cool. I mean, I'll find out when I see the movie, but I'm like, why was Pooh underground? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, why was he on underground? It kind of gave me Return of the Living Dead vibes. It did for me, at least. <clears throat> and uh, my favorite part of the trailer, I think it was Tigger, or it could have been Pooh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was Tigger. When he said, Hello, Christopher. That legitimately gave me chills. Legitimately did. And one criticism for the original was that it took itself way too seriously. This one, yeah, it. This one seems to be more so serious. Because Pooh is carrying a flaming chainsaw. Yeah. A flaming chainsaw. It looks cool. I never thought that I needed to see that in my life, but, you know, I thought that that was cool. I'm no expert, but I highly doubt that a chainsaw would function when being lit on fire. It probably happens. But, you know, who cares? It looks cool. Yeah. So yeah, that right there tells me that they're more self-serious. And I hope so, because that's what 
that was a big criticism for the original movie. That it took itself way too seriously when it said we need to do horror movies. When I saw the original in theaters, you, you saw this in the trailer of the original movie when Pooh is leaning down, eating honey or whatever. He turns up slowly and then he quickly turns facing the camera. Everybody was roaring and laughing at that part. Oh my god. Everybody was roaring so loud and laughing at that. I can't stress that enough. It kind of reminded me of that end scene in The Disaster Artist when there's that screening of The Room when it was meant to be taken seriously but the audience isn't taking it seriously and they're laughing at it when it's not supposed to be a comedy. That's what my theater experience reminded me of. Reminded me of that end scene in The Disaster and that scene in the original where Get Out is written on the window and then one of the girls says I think the one who's after us wrote that on the window everyone was roaring in laughter and even I said in theaters out loud so no duh and I was laughing that was the dumbest line no duh. Who else wrote it? Yogi Bear? No, it was the mailman. That that line was dumb. Oh yeah. Uh, because of the flaming chainsaw, it seems like that they really truly learned their lesson from taking it too seriously. But I have to see the movie that. for myself to find out. So the movie is supposed to be released, I think, this month or next month. Oh, yeah. I remember I saw it with my son saw that and we, we all agreed it was not a very good movie. I think we can give this video a nice... Do you want to know what really pisses me off? What else we can give this video? Yeah. Oh, man. Who, man? The one thing that you had to do for me is to give me tummy rugs. Right here, right now. Okay. I agree with pretty much everything Eric says in that video, so. Um, have you watched Eric's series, Advice to Actors? Yeah, I've watched it. He, he says a lot of good things in there. I love Eric's idea about, let's watch a movie that's Fast and Furious. Mm -hmm. Fast and Furious! Let's see. Subscribe. Yay! It's for me. Everything is subscribed. No, what's a video we haven't seen in a while? Um, we have so many videos. I just watched our video of me. Wearing a pinky on my side and talking. Dude, low key, I really like our thumbnails, though. Yeah. Our thumbnails. Oh my god. Our one year anniversary. Let's watch this. Let's watch Grimaces, I think. 
This is a classic. We should think about what our spec is for year end resolutions. We gotta make more uh, short films too. Yeah, we do. A lot more short films on our channel. Now that we have that camera. Yeah. Dylan! I got it! I got the Grimace Shake! The Grimace Shake? Yeah! We can do it for our channel! Alright, come on, let's try it. Alright. Alright. <sighs> Does it look good, Travis? What's going on, guys? I'm Dylan. And I'm Travis. We're the 406 Boys, and today we got a special video. Yeah. We're, you know, McDonald's is, it's Grimace's birthday, apparently, so we got this Grimace Happy shake. Happy birthday, Grimace! Happy birthday, Grimace! So we're trying this Grimace shake. And, uh, I don't know what to think of it, and mm -hmm. maybe blueberry or something, I don't know. Um, so I guess we're I gonna... I heard it's blueberry and strawberry with birthday cake flavoring in it. Yeah, I don't know what to think of it, um, but I guess, you know, happy birthday, Grimace, so let's try it. I think that's doing the job for you. It's holding right up there. It's okay. It's not that bad. Yeah. Alright, I definitely taste the birthday cake in it, for sure. Yeah. It's not one I would, like, ultimately go back to. Mm -hmm. Um, I would definitely, uh, hold off on, like, I wouldn't, this would probably be one that I wouldn't, like, mm -hmm. ever get again, you know, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, should we rate it? Yeah, I think we should rate it for sure. What would you rate it um, out of 10? Out of 10, let's see. I will probably give it a solid 6.5. I'd probably give it about a 6, yeah. It wasn't great, but it wasn't, like, terrible. I, I was honestly expecting worse. I'm more of a chocolate kind of person if I was getting a shake. I don't get shakes very often, but anyway. That was our take on the Grimace shake so if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this video hit that subscribe button smash that like button turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we get upload new videos i'm dylan and i'm travis we're the 46 boys see ya so uh you think we did a good job on that video i think so um i think we should do more food reviews like that yeah i think we should, i think your phone's ringing oh, oh hold on Who is it? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put it on speaker. See you tomorrow. Oh. Uh, what does that mean? Who is this? You tried it. Now you have to find out. We hung up. Hmm. Should we call the cops? I don't know, I'm freaked out. What did they mean by see you tomorrow? Uh, maybe it was just a prank call? Yeah, that's probably what it was, but we'll see. I don't think that uh, it would be almost would have had more time to work on this. No. Because I think we're just making it up as we went along. Right? Hey, Travis, do you have any video ideas? I don't know, like for the channel? Yeah, for the channel. I actually forgot about this. What is that? The Grimace shake? Yeah. It froze. <laughs> so what do we do with it? Maybe eat it. Well, to be honest, it wasn't really that good. Yeah, really wasn't. Well, what, what should we do with it now? Like, should we just, just, uh get some spoons and just start eating it that way. Well, what if that guy on the phone comes back, you know? Who was that, anyway? A prank caller. Hmm. What do we do? Unknown. Put it on speaker. Who is this? This is your worst nightmare. 
Okay, it's not funny anymore, whoever you are. The, the joke's not even that good. I mean, even the shake is not even that good, if I'm being honest. It's just a stupid trend, right? You shouldn't have said that. Okay. Okay. Uh, this may or may not be serious. Okay, I'm freaking out now. Alright, so, I don't... The door, the door, the door. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Okay, so I don't know what to do now. Okay, you got... I think you went away a little bit. He's still out there. Oh my god, he's fat. Okay, so... How do we get rid of this thing? Um, you're not... Wait. What? What was that idea you had earlier? About... About, um, our... One of our videos? The shake. Oh, yeah, Think yeah, about yeah. the shake. Um, we could, um... Sp um, get a spoon and start feeding, um... No, people. listen. He only has power if you think about, talk about, or taste the shake. We destroy the shake and he's gone. Uh, okay, uh, how do you s s expect that we do that? We melt the shake, dump out the shake, and he's gone. He loses all power. That kind of oddly makes that sense. Does. We need to melt the shake and do it fast. Let's go. All right. I think yeah. I know what to do. All right, all right, all right. Just melt it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, got it out. Yeah. Okay, right, let's get the sucker going. Get the hot water going. Hurry! Oh god, oh god. Hurry! It's not going fast enough. I'm hurrying! I'm hurrying! Come on. Come on. Melt it. He's knocking at the door right now. Lock make sure the door is locked! Okay. Oh, I can see him out there. He's banging. Okay, 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 okay. Go away! You guys better let me in or there'll be hell to pay. Three of you! Oh, okay. One more. Uh -huh. This is the hottest. I'm getting it. Come on. Come on. Ah! We're almost there. Oh man, he's going for the window. He's going for the window. Come on. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. It's not going fast enough. Go. Oh. Oh. Oh, the dogs are freaking out. He's, he's, he's grabbing a rake. He's trying to bust it down, man. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Let me look out the window. Paula. You hear dad in the background? Paula. Not funny. Paula. I don't see anything. Oh. Yep. He's gone. He's gone. Now, we gotta get the camera traced out. Just in case. Out. Quick, throw it away. Throwing it away. You know what we could do, though? We could do other shorts We're good. and have a grandma's figure next to his parents. That I think he's like gone. A, what are those called? No, like Easter I think eggs. we're good. So we'd have the grandma's figure make an Easter egg. We did it. Like yeah. I don't know how to feel Very about that nice. whole experience, but do you think this is something we should tell our subscribers? Mm. We should, yeah, I, I mean, it would be a civil, civil duty to do, to say, seriously, don't try this at home. The Grimace shape yeah, I don't, I don't, is dangerous. I don't know if McDonald's should ever... If they ever bring back the Grimace Shake, I think that people just need to be wary about the Grimace Shake. I mean, yeah. what if, I mean, what if they did this with the other characters? I mean, that's just one. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so be wary of the Grimace Shake. Um, Grimace is real. We just encountered him. 
Be careful. Everybody. Be safe. Travis? Yes. Could you go to my room and grab my laptop so I can edit this video? Yeah. Sure. All right, thank you. Beware of the Grinch, that's the So this is our one year. I mean I got sixty one views, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I don't think making a sequel to it is good, but yeah. we'll definitely do Easter eggs. Um let's go back to our channel real quick. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we get any subscribers. Um so if you guys don't know you guys see this little button right here. If it's not checked, go ahead and hit that little check button right here. Go ahead and hit that button right here. So you get notified when we upload videos. Um, we also have other lives. Go check out our Craven Awards that we had. It was awesome. We have other videos. We just uploaded our top 10 worst movies of 2023. It is amazing. We will be uploading our top 10 best movies of 2023. Yeah. Um, as well, probably next week. Yeah. Um, be looking out for that. But um, until then, I am Dylan. And I'm Travis. And, wait. Uh, let's do this right. Until then, I am 